guys, so today is going to be another Battle Lash Palette tutorial. If you start getting sick of these, I understand. Just pretend that I'm not using the Battle Lash Palette, okay? A couple of you in the comments yesterday had challenged me to be using the blue shade, and I say challenge accepted. I mean, we did design this palette, so I definitely had my time to think about how I'd use this blue color. But I can't take all the credit for this look because this was definitely inspired by another girl on Instagram. I can't pronounce her name, so I'm going to put it right here on the screen somewhere. I know a couple of you have been commenting saying that the looks I've been doing are too dramatic and like who'd wear that outside and you know all that kind of stuff. First of all, me, I wear this stuff outside, just throwing it out there. But if you do find these looks a little bit too dramatic for your everyday wear, you can opt out of lashes, out of liner, um, all that kind of stuff is going to make it a little bit more wearable per se, um, and a little bit less dramatic. All right, let's jump into this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start by applying winter brown into the crease. And I'm just taking that on a big fluffy brush. I'm just using this as my transition shade to make it easier to blend my other colors later. And I already have my eyeshadow base and um, a neutral colored eyeshadow down as well. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take Electro, which is this nice lime green shade right here. And I'm gonna take it on a slightly smaller brush. This is the Zoeva 228. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that into the crease, kind of blending up towards the brow bone there. This look is definitely gonna be a little bit more bold, so if you ain't freaky, Now's the time to leave. And I'm just pulling that down onto the lid a little bit so we can blend our lid color a little bit easier later on. I'm gonna go ahead and use NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean and I'm going to take that onto my eyeball. I'm just gonna apply it all over the lid. Again, don't worry if it's a little bit messy, just make sure that you have an even coat. And I'm going to leave that a little bit away from the inner corner there to make sure that it doesn't get too dark over, over there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take my, what's this thing called? Real Techniques shading brush. I don't know what it is with the freaking Real Techniques brushes, but I cannot remember the name for some reason. You think it'd be easier than numbers, but it really isn't for me. Anyways, I'm just blending out the edges of that by kind of rubbing over them. And don't worry if this is looking like a little bit muddy and crazy right now because it'll probably turn out fine, but it might not, but it probably will. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take Popper, which is this lovely blue shade. I'm just taking that on a little shader brush and I'm going to pat it over top. Just patting pretty much all over the lid, not pretty much, completely. And there you have it, done. Just kidding. I'm just gonna take a little brush. This is a pretty big brush, actually. I'm gonna take a pretty big brush and blend that out. Just going over the edges there. And if you need to, you can pick up a little bit more of that blue color to blend out those edges more so, and that's precisely what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and take our black shade. You guys know what that looks like. It is uh, black. And I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner, kind of blending it in towards the outer third here. Or I mean, I guess towards the inner second third. And just blending that out as well. Again, I like to apply my shadows with a smaller brush and then blend them out with a bigger brush. The reason why is because it keeps it from getting muddy, especially when you're doing looks like this that involve a bunch of different colors that are kind of hard to blend together because blending lime green eyeshadow and black just you know, they weren't really meant to blend together, but you can do it. Um, it's definitely going to be easier if you apply with smaller brushes and blend with bigger brushes. Just throwing it out there. A lot of people ask how I choose my color combinations and stuff like that, and honestly, one really easy way to kind of choose colors that might start going together is to look at a color wheel, look at what's next to each other on the color wheel, and be like, okay, that's probably going to be easier to blend together. Whereas if they're complementary colors, they might look beautiful, but they're going to definitely be harder to blend together. So like yellow and purple are going to be a lot harder to blend together. You're going to have to spend a little bit more time on that. Whereas blue and green, they're going to blend together pretty easily because they're very close to each other on the color wheel. There you have it. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take Sugar Pills Lumi Pigment. This is one of my all-time favorite pigments. It's so freaking beautiful. So I'm just going to pat that onto the lid on the kind of inner third there. And then I'm just wiping off my brush a little bit and tapping to blend it over here. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. 
<sighs> I love makeup. I'm gonna apply a little bit of winged eyeliner. If you want this look to be a little bit less dramatic and like dragish, you can go without the wing liner if you want, but I mean, it's gonna be fun if you do the wing liner. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Anyways, I'm just taking my little Sigma brush and applying it to the inner corner. I'm just doing a thin line straight across first. And I'm using my Tarte Clay Pot Liner. I think I might have said that, but if I didn't, then now you know. Um, and what I'm doing here is I'm just applying it first that thin little brush and then taking an angle brush and basically just going over top of it. This is just a clean angle brush and like it just basically makes your line straighter. So if you kind of struggle with like, you have like kind of dodgy looking lines, first of all, um, just go over top of it with a clean brush and sometimes it'll help to kind of smooth out any bumps and ridges you might have. So just over here, I'm just applying my wing. Oh, Jesus, that got a little bit thick. It's okay. We'll fix this, I think. Just to fix this crazy liner we have going on here, I'm gonna take the black from the palette and this Real Techniques freaking accent brush. Jesus. And I'm just going to, how am I gonna do this? Uh, I am just going to darken the outer corner with it. Basically, yeah, okay. We're basically gonna go over top of that liner and turn it into a smoky liner. Walls. And just blending out that corner. That worked out okay. On the bottom, I'm just gonna apply my NYX Black Bean again. Doesn't matter if it's messy, we gonna blend it out. So just taking my little thing, accent brush, and I'm just going to blend that out until it's a nice smooth line, and it's as if the first line never happened. And then I'm just going to pick up my palette. I'm just going to go ahead and take a cinnamon, which is the color right here. Oh my god, I almost dropped the palette. Wow, that would have been really, really sad. Okay, be still my beating heart. I'm taking a cinnamon and just basically blending out that black to make it a little bit softer on the bottom. And then finger blending. Okay, and I, Luke, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and apply lashes and mascara and I'll show you guys the finished look. So this is the final look. So that's everything you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something cool today. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Okay, bye guys.